An update tonight. Nicholas Cruz's attorney says he will plead guilty to the Parkland school massacre next week. That shooting sparked a national movement called March for Our Lives, calling for stricter gun laws. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte spoke with one of the organizers who says this is just one step in the right direction. On that day, uh, 17 of my classmates and administrators were murdered. More than three years later, it's still difficult for Parkland survivor David Hogg to talk about. Do you solemnly swear? Or and today, the attorneys for Nicholas Cruz, the man accused of killing the 14 students and three staff members, say when he is back in court next week, he's expected to plead guilty to all 17 murder charges. Hogg says he hasn't been following the court case closely. Instead, it's exhausting, and I know many of my, my classmates feel the same way. What I work on on a day-to-day -day basis is, try, is not focusing on this shooting and what happened, but focusing on how to stop the next shooting. He helped spark the movement against gun violence, March for Our Lives, as students traveled across the country fighting for stricter gun control laws and urged college students to register to vote. Maxwell Alejandro Frost from Orlando also worked to start the group that continues to call for change, and now he's running for Congress. The majority of folks I know from Parkland and you know survivors of shootings are really interested in like a different definition of justice, not just one person being sentenced, but how do we ensure that this never happens again? Hogg also continuing to be an advocate for change. That's really what closure would look like to me is knowing that Generation Z is the last generation to have to deal with gun violence and that stories like this are left in our history books where they belong. Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.